Hi third graders, today we're going to be talking about sharing money. The one thing you need to remember when we're talking about sharing money is that dollars can be broken down. For example, if I asked you to share a dollar with two friends, you wouldn't be able to give them each a dollar because we only have one, so you have to break it down. So remember, how many quarters are in one dollar? There's four. How many dimes are in one dollar? Ten. And how many nickels are in one dollar? Twenty. And pennies? One hundred. So when we're sharing money with different amounts of friends, we might have to break the dollar down in different ways. Or it might be bigger than one dollar. It might be ten dollars or twenty dollars. All right, our first example, we're going to share one dollar with five friends. So let's think about how we can do this. There's probably a couple of different ways. We could start with pennies, but that may take us a while to count out a hundred pennies and divide them into five friends. So let's use what we know. Can we use quarters? No, because we know that four quarters fit in one dollar and we have five friends. So maybe we should start with dimes. You think that's a good idea? All right, we'll start with dimes. And remember, we need to keep track. If we're breaking down the dollar, we need to keep track of how much money we've used. So let's give everyone a dime. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cents. All right. So we have used 50 cents. That means we have how much money left? Hmm. Well, I know that 50 cents is half of one dollar. So I can probably do that same thing again. Give all of my friends another dime. 10, 20, 30, 40, and now I have 50 more cents. Does that add up to a dollar? Yes, it does. So now I've divided my dollar equally between five friends. And the answer to the problem will be how many does each friend have? Each friend has two dimes. So I'll add 10 plus. equals 20 cents. Oopsie, sorry. So for this example, we use dimes, but would it be okay if I counted out 100 pennies and gave them to my five friends? Absolutely, you'll still get the answer and you'll still find that each friend would get 20 pennies. All right, in this next example, we have two dollars and we're sharing them between four friends. So I can't give everybody a dollar because we don't have enough. Let's think about how we're going to split this up for them. Hmm. We could use pennies, but it might take me a while to count out one, oh, two hundred pennies. I think I might start with quarters. Let's see. All right, so I have 25, 50, 75, 100. All right, I have 100 cents that I gave out. So how many dollars is that? One. And how many dollars do I have? Two. So let's do that again. 25. 100. All right, another 100 cents that adds up to 200. And so I've split my two dollars between all my friends. How much is each of my friends going to get? We know a quarter is worth 25 cents plus 25 cents is 50 cents.
Okay, in this last example, again, we have $2, but this time we're going to divide them in, or for five friends. Let's see, do I want to count out 200 pennies? Hmm, probably not. Well, I'm going to use what I know about the problem that I just did. I had more than enough quarters to give everyone a quarter, right? So I'm going to start with those. Oops, so this is 25, 50, 75, 100, and 25. Alright, so I used 120. cents are in two dollars? Two hundred cents, right? So I don't think I can use quarters again because we saw that I used more than four to give out to my friends. So let's try to use dimes this time. So we'll hand out ten, twenty, thirty, forty, 50 cents. Let's add that and see how much we've used. Oopsie, sorry. So we've used 175 cents. Alright, so we only have 25 cents left to divide to all of our friends. Hmm. I think we maybe will be able to use nickels. Remember, if you use too big of a number, it's okay. You can take it away and start over. So let's try nickels. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Perfect! So that added up to 25 cents. Now I've handed out my 200 cents, or my $2. So how much did each of my five friends get? Let's add it all together. So they each got a quarter, which was worth 25, a dime, which was worth 10, and a nickel, which was worth 5. get 40. So each of my friends got 40 cents and I divided two dollars into five for five of my friends. So remember what's important when we're sharing money is breaking it down. We know that a quarter is worth 25, a dime is worth 10, a nickel is worth five, and a penny is worth one cent. So we need to use that knowledge to be able to share our money equally. Alright third graders, I'll see you tomorrow.